Well, folks, it's over. That's all I got to tell you. It is done. We are finished. What am I talking about? This is the craziest thing. When you look at what has to happen from the Fed, what they're going to be doing, how are they going to handle the, the economy, the inflation, everything? We already know that they don't have everything under control 24-7. We remember that at one point we had inflation, which was transitory, which it never was transitory. It ended up coming back and haunting this country for years. And now we have the Fed doing the exact opposite, which is what? Well, they're going to overdo it. They're going to just absolutely, uh, we're going to take care of this and make sure that it's transitory. We're going to make sure it's a slow transitory. We're not getting to the point it's all happy-go-lucky, but they're going to crash this thing. They're going to crash it on purpose, and they have to to get absolute control of this economy, of the inflation and everything. Now, they're going to be able to get us out of it quick, but this is what we're going to talk about in today's video, man. There's a lot of news out there I think you need to see, and we are going to talk about it. I'm going to tell you how I'm going to try to make hundreds of thousands of dollars off of this as well. It is all about that. For those that missed the day trading yesterday, holy cow, we had live trading, which I'm going to do again today at 1.15 Eastern time, but yesterday we got hit, hit, hit. I got off. I had one more big trade I did right after I finished the live stream. And it was the biggest trade I have ever had for a gain percentage-wise. It was up, I believe we hit 600% up on a few of the contracts. I do take along the way. I take some profit along the way. But, man, that was crazy. Now, use the bread recipe. If you haven't used it, get over to the Stock Mo course right now. Sign up today. The link is right down below. Use code MOE at checkout, and you will save 90 bucks. This is lifetime access to the course and the course's Discord. This is next level stuff, and I'd love to have you over there. It, and I'm going to be adding more content very soon. Once I do, the price is going to go higher because it's content. Oh, boy. Wait till you guys see. Everybody that's in it right now, and there's a ton of people in it, I have some big updates coming moving forward that you're going to love. Uh, but once I do that, the price goes higher, and if you're not in, of course, you have to pay that higher fee. So get locked in today. All right, now, what was I going to show you? Ooh, this is it. We are going to get right into this chart. We're going to start with this chart. Let's take a look at this chart. This is the S&P 500, all right? 45.49, this is what we're looking at. That's the S&P 500, 45.49 at this particular moment in time. You notice we topped out 45.88 right here, right? We come over here. Where do we top out at? 45.94 within six points within six points of the last top that saw us drop all the way down over the next well let's see august september october three months we dropped 10 percent. now we rolled up again and now we hit that double top right here and anybody that knows anything about technicals knows a double top if this ends up being a double top is absolutely not a good sign uh we'll see we'll see how this goes could this be an inverse head and shoulders we don't know what's going to happen but i'll tell you this uh, i am watching i have tqqq and if it reverses i will be getting out of that but the big one i wanted to talk about in this video is talking about what the fed's doing and everything else concerning concerning my tmf 20-year treasury et at 20-year plus treasury so that's the 30 years in there too uh, you know, over the last five days, it's up 13.77%. We have a lot of green days. I'm going to show the technicals on this as well. As we're, what's the TMF stock price prediction? Is TMF one of the best stocks to buy now? That all comes down to each investor's attitude towards where we're heading. And if you believe that inflation is in check, that it is not going to go screaming up again, well, then you feel good about the long-dated treasuries. And if you want the high risk, you go with TMF. If you want lower risk, you go with TLT. But with that being said, we pull over to what the Fed is expected to do. Now, if you're a patient investor like me, you don't mind holding one position for a year based on what you're expecting. As you can see here, we have a 96% chance that we're not raising rates this December. Coming up, what, next week, we have this meeting. Uh, the 13th. They're not going to raise rates. They're going to keep it the same. Then we move into January. There's a 12% chance that they're in six weeks they're going to cut rates. Now, I don't think it's going to happen then. Personally, I think it's going to go to March. But those three months time between now and March is enough time for everything to deteriorate quickly. And I do believe that's exactly what's going to happen, especially from everything I'm hearing out there, leading economic indicators. Everything's looking salty, folks. I don't know about you, but 
I don't want to be a part of it. So if you believe this and you go all the way out to the end of the year, one year from today, rates should be down roughly to 400 to 425 basis points. So a full 1.25% off, man, we're talking, this goes from 5.25 down to 4.0. If you believe this and you believe either one of two things, that the Fed has completed its mission and inflation is down to the low twos, if not below two by the end of next year, or we have a serious recession and no one has any money, well then, you know the Fed's going to cut rates both ways. Either they did their job or they did the job so well they caused the recession. Either way, they cut rates. The only way they don't cut rates is if inflation doesn't move. It stays stuck. It continues to stay stuck and maybe even start going higher a few meetings in a row. That would be stagflation, and you would see people out there absolutely just hammering the shorts on. They would short the crap out of TMF and TLT. Now, I don't think that's going to happen personally. And I think the Fed is absolutely way over constrictive right now. And remember, inflation's down in the threes now, and they're up at 5.25 to 5.5. Way overboard. They don't need to be that high. They can be a little bit constrictive, but they continue to stay up there. So as inflation's dropping, say, down to three, now they're 2.25 to 2.5% above. The real rate of interest is way above where it has to be. And we know that's going to crush the economy. We have a ton of debt from corporate America that is being refinanced. It is getting refinanced at these higher rates. And it's going to absolutely cause a bunch of businesses to go out. You're probably going to see some banking failures along the way. All of these things are going to lead to credit being constricted as well. Banks are going to be like fighting tooth and nail to make sure they have the liquidity and everything they need to stay in business. You're going to have a lot of loans out there that just can't be paid. We're talking credit cards. We're talking car loans, maybe even home loans. And as all of this happens because interest rates go higher, you're going to see the economy start to suffer. You're going to have student loans by October 2024. Everyone who didn't have to pay, and there's a lot of people not paying right now. There is a lot of people not paying right now. They will have to start paying by next October. There is a boatload of people who have not started paying. And you're going to have that money coming out of the economy. Those people that aren't paying will start to pay, and then they don't have that cash. There are some who started to pay, and that money is already being seen taken out of the economy. From what I'm hearing, things aren't as bright and sunny as everyone out there who are long would like us to believe. Now, I am long, but I'm also looking at the facts. The facts are, even if we can avoid recession, and that's a big if in my opinion, that means that we have a lot of trouble out there we have to navigate through and make sure our portfolios are set up to make sure they make money. There are a few things you can do. You can look at it this way. and you, It's up to each person. If you believe there's a recession coming, you could just T-bill and chill. You can buy T-bills. They'll get your 5.3% interest annualized. You get paid monthly. Divide that by 12. You get paid monthly. And you're good. You know you're going to get 5% over the next 12 months. Up or down in the market, You know if, if the stock market goes up over 5%, you made a bad call. If the market does not get at least 5% in the next year, you made a good call. And so the question becomes, do you believe the markets are going to go down? If so, T-bill and chill is a great way to handle it. Now, the, you have some options, though. You can do the barbell approach, which I absolutely love. That's what I'm doing. I have a ton of T-bill. I'm getting that 5.3, very juicy payments every month. And I got the long-dated treasuries. So that's the short-term T-bills. Then I got the long-dated treasuries. Uh, with TLT and TMF. Tons and tons of that on that side. I actually have more in the long dated now. I kept switching as it dropped. I added more and more DCA. Now it's starting to rise, which is beautiful. So I'm still buying into it. And that's the barbell. Short term, long term. If long term goes up, that's fantastic. As it didn't, I took the money from the short term, bought more long term. And now I'm where I'm smiling. Because I think this is a long term change of just absolute personality, as I call it in the day trading where we see the bear turn into the bull. And that bull has been running and a lot of the family out there is making bank. And of course, I always tell you, if you're in the TMF family, put it down below, because this video is for you. This video today is for you. Let me know where you are from. Are you holding TMF? How much? TLT? How much? Let me know, family. Are you in T-bill too? I'm just kind of curious if you're doing the bar barbell approach, if you're just holding TMF just because. Then I have a lot of people ask me, when to get out, Mo? Well, if you think, 
if you think and you look at the the rates for 2024 they're going to be down five rate cuts well if they go down five rate cuts by the end of 2024 wouldn't tmf be a lot better than it is right now in other words they're going to have red days here scare the crap out of you with uh, the long data treasuries but if they do cut five times by the end of 2024 is tmf going to be higher or lower than it is right now well my opinion is it's probably going to be anywhere from 25 to 50 percent higher than it is right now uh conservatively i think 25 percent uh that's based on the five cuts i see if it gets goes from 5.25 down to four i see it around after decay and everything else probably 25 uh to 35 percent but i actually think because the shorts are getting squeezed we could see it 25 to 50 percent and it could be a rush into it as well there's some other things i'm looking into but just say 25 to 50 percent up if you believe inflation is going to come roaring back you can short it get out take your profits you can short it or you can just t-bill and chill so that's just some of my opinions on this i'm not telling you what to buy and sell i'm just telling you what i'm doing and i like it i think there's opportunity so i'm going to be buying on the red days enjoying the green and i'll be making videos on it so if you're looking for the place to see what's going on about these treasuries how we can make bank during a recession when everybody else is losing everything and we're sitting here making money or if the fed does it right the fed does their job they crush inflation they don't cause a recession we still make money we might not make as much as the growth stocks rolling up but we'll switch quick we know that they did their job they get down to two percent there's no recession everything looks good don't worry we'll make the right moves we just might miss out on a little bit so i'd rather have that that insurance of doing what i'm doing than risking it all and going all in on the the growth stocks and even triple leverage growth stocks man i want to make bank during this crazy time get set up for the big run and hit that big run and i think it's going to happen all right folks if you haven't joined the course do that down below like I said, that is next level stuff <clears throat> and get in before price goes up. And I do have the Stock Squad Patreon link down there. Click that, come on over and join us. And the Stock Mo Patreon link where you can see my portfolios and what I'm doing. We got a lot of good stuff going on. Get your free stocks from Moomoo and Weeble down below as well. And that's what I got for you. So if you haven't done it, get out there, take a look at the course, join us folks. This is good stuff. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.